What's good, Joe? A lot of people have been coming up to me in the farmer's market lately talking to me about land. You know me, man. I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Let's talk about some land. Here's a couple reasons, actually three reasons as to why I think you should buy land. I know it's only three. Two of these could be their own video, to be honest with you. I might even take, yeah. Don't be surprised if you see some of these actually as video topics because some of them are actually pretty damn good. Before we get into all my reasons why I think you should be buying land, if you will be ever so kind as to hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell up in the corner. Don't be surprised, y'all. There's a really good chance that we're gonna take this land videos, all these land videos off and put them into a whole different channel because I'm into a lot of just different things uh, surrounding this kind of stuff. So yeah, this, you know what I'm saying? Um, ultimately, the seeds of Zan to do, a little plot that I could, all this is about solutions, y'all. I do it through gardening. Now I'm kind of just being led to just do stuff through land as well as gardening. You can see it's a very easy mesh. Three reasons though, as to why I think uh, it's a good idea to think about buying land. With relaxed belief, like my man Les Brown says. She, she, y'all. Let's go. These are in no order. I'm just kind of, I will say one, two, three, but that's just because it's a habit. Number one, investment. Just think about it, investment property. I'm actually buying this property here as well. And it's, you know, it's been paying it me back through this. I've finally been able to get it somewhat dialed in pretty damn well to where now I can actually venture out a lot more and play around with other things. Come here. He's learning. Styrofoam, I can't have him play with that. Wind, y'all. We get so much wind. It just, we're like a catch. We're at the end of the block. I say this all the time. Anyway, I digress. It's been allowing me just to be able to do a lot of just different things around here. Land has really been something that's been on my radar now for years. So I'm just now really getting involved in what better way of learning about it myself than to be able to talk about it with you guys. Uh, possibly give you guys a couple ideas and solutions on how you guys can obtain your own pieces of property because it's really not that hard with relaxed belief there we go investment property like i was saying in my very first video you can pass this on it's kind of crazy to me that they actually sell land earth whatever i'm not getting into that it's part of the game as long as you do something dope with it you know what i'm saying well you could pass this on to your to your family you know what i'm saying yeah i think that's pretty damn awesome any little small upgrade i do i mean like putting in a road, putting in a simple fence, doing little things like that, my property value's just gone up. You know, I'm not even talking about anything else like septic, any of those other things. Really small things really add a lot, you know? This is like a one of a kind, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, don't I make any more of this? They can't make any more of this, you know what I'm saying? So there's only demand. The supply is already kind of done, which is gonna always make you go up. Ideally, right? We don't know what's ever gonna happen in the future, but I don't mind putting my soldiers money inside of some land, you know what I'm saying? Let them do some work for me. Everybody's over there just chilling. You know what I mean? Just growing and getting fat. So I like that idea. I like that, I like that a lot. Unlike me getting gold or silver or any other precious metal, Bitcoin, Whatever it is, um, when you get land, you can live on it. When you get land, you can actually make it, make money for you. You know what I'm saying? There's so much you can do when you own your own property. I don't have to ask anybody for anything. I just come out here and I just start going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's dope. Don't get me wrong. If you do have an apartment or anything like that, and this is what you want to do, I think it's worth you asking your apartment, whoever owns your building or whatever, if, if you need to ask them, if you feel compelled to do so. At the end of the day, dude, like, it's nice to not have to. One less thing. Me having a piece of property now, another piece of property where I can actually even do other things outside of just this. Don't get me wrong, gardening is always gonna be popping. We're gonna get into all that later. But, um, yeah, I can just get into a whole bunch of other different things, man. And again, dude, so far, this is an investment that is only adding value to me for little but i'm enjoying doing it so i don't really know how you really you know what i'm saying you really can't i don't know and if i decide later on 
which we probably will start getting into just different ideas, what you can do with your land, different ideas. Like I said, some of these can be their own video. We start getting involved in just doing different ideas um, with your properties. I mean, just think about it. Short-term leases like Airbnb, outdoors lease, all these different kind of things that's allowing people to camp there that want to go hunting. Because even though I can't hunt on my property, I can definitely allow people to camp on my property. I can let them camp on my property, you know what I'm saying? And then they can go out and just drive not too far and go hunting you know what i'm saying so or fishing or whatever it is that they're hiking whatever it is that they want to go do because that's what i'm doing having fun just having fun man it's dope money like i was saying before dude your money should always your money your soldiers however you want to look at it that junk should always be working i just can't see a better easier way than going into some piece of property number two the times y'all I'm just kind of cat that likes to get away from things, man. I like to get out of the way. You know what I'm saying? It's just simple and plain. That's how I get down. That's what my uh, grandmother always told me, just get out of the way. So that's what I do. <laughs> it's very easy, dude. Um, and I feel mad security in doing that. I mean, I'm pretty far away from everything already. This is where I like to be. Yeah, and so I, I like the idea of even going further out because ultimately to me, man, my idea is just to be never beholden to any one place that I can be a nomad it's kind of what I am at heart so I just want to be able to be able to have multiple places just kind of all over the world around America first right so yeah I just like being a lot of different places so I'm you know that's kind of how I'm getting down and however that works we'll put it all together and which is another thing too y'all retirement you know what I'm saying I mean I'm low-key I don't really call myself retired now. I mean, because I do still go out to work at the markets. I still do um, my other sound business as well. But those are all things I like doing. Now I can just have another place I can just go in my retirement, you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> uh, I can just kind of just go hang out there uh, and be and be cool, man, you know what I'm saying? I can just leave that property out there and just let it sit. And this is gonna keep getting beautiful and nature's gonna keep doing what it's doing out there. And I could just go out there and just look at it and sit on it, or I can look on it from Google Maps. And that's just not my way. I, I just prefer to go and do things. That's my idea of fun. So number three is building. I'm gonna get to build something. I'm gonna get to build my own house on that junk, y'all. I can't wait, y'all, until one of these days, I get a piece of property that has timber. Then we get stupid crazy. Using timber to build your own house. Until then, we play with like just different things. I got shipping containers in my head, adobes. I don't know, I'm, my head's going crazy right now. Just different ideas, so I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Just looking forward to being able to finally get out and start doing that kind of stuff. In fact, next month, I'm actually heading out there um, just to go camping, but you know what I'm saying? But I'm like gonna be camping on the sites that I'm thinking of potentially living. That's gonna be ill. So being able to see, you know, how things are gonna be kind of working out there um, is really cool. And then of course, developing new skills like building homes, just drywalling and just all that kind of stuff. Things that I have, you know, ideas of how to do, kind of have done, but now really get to do again or better um I'm, I'm really looking forward to that you know what i'm saying i haven't even gotten into the gardens yet and just how crazy how we can make now make everything just flow um, from a ground level and make gardens and house everything just kind of work to get on man for like yeah i mean like i said this video right here could go long y'all i'm just like brainstorming at this point too so um i'm really excited and looking forward to just being able to do just some dope shit just having a good time doing dope shit i don't think there's anything wrong with that i think that that's what life is all about you know what i'm saying it's yeah where i bought here's the deal it snows there i've always wanted to grow in the snow now i know i sound crazy to a lot of you guys and you guys are like yo you can come get this snow over here i'm like no nah, i ain't trying to live in the snow you know what i'm saying that was never my thing i was you know i understand but to have that somewhat of a I don't know, man, like of a challenge of sort or just being like, okay, I can figure out how to do this. Um, I now get the opportunity to actually go build some of these ideas I've always had in my head, ideas that I've seen other people do, um, ideas that 
are low cost, but I can actually generate my own food out there. And no matter what it is that I build, it's gonna, like again, it's gonna be dope, you know what I'm saying? So it's gonna be adding on to the value of my property. You know what I'm saying? No matter what it is that I do, as long as I'm coming with value, that's all that matters, you know what I'm saying? And if I'm going out there having fun, building greenhouses or whatever it is that I'm doing to play in the snow, then yo, I mean, that's my idea of fun. I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't know. A lot of the people, you know what I'm saying? We all get involved in, you know, find ourselves in life. The reason I'm surrounded right now in greens is because I like planting vegetables, y'all. There's Otis. Another thing too I wanted to build y'all was a walking smoker. Like I've been telling y'all, man, go hunting, go fishing. Not in the foreseeable future, really, do I see myself building any kind of um, garden out there. That feels weird even saying, I don't know. I don't know, that might come sooner than later. It, what, it really, what do you consider a long time? A year? But I mean fishing, all that kind of stuff, guys. So I don't know, man. Hopefully you guys got something out of that. Those are just a couple reasons. Like I said, I didn't want this video to go too long. Each one of those reasons, guys, I'm fighting right now not to go on and on and on and on about. I just didn't know where to stop, so I'm stopping here. If you guys are really thinking about buying land, let me know. Leave it down below. Hope this one helps, y'all. Peace.